Hey guys, what's going on? Evelyn here. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. So guys, today I want to talk about pre-patch guide for Legion Demon Hunter. Now, 110, I'm going to be making more advanced guide, but for right now, this is just a pre-patch guide because we have a few weeks with Demon Hunter and we're just going to enjoy what we can do. So we're going to be talking about a few things in this guide. The first thing being is the abilities we have. Then we're also going to talk about the staff priority. Then after that, we're going to talk about the talents. And then finally, we're going to talk about the rotation. So first up, we're going to talk about the abilities we have. The first ability we have and defensive wise so we're gonna talk about the fences first the blur and darkness what blur does is it reduces damage taken by 25 percent and it gives you 50 percent dodge chance as well as being on a one minute cooldown makes it really really nice the next defense of being darkness now what darkness does is it puts a cloak around all friendly targets giving you a 20 percent chance to avoid all attacks for eight seconds which is really really nice you consider this really good putting on a healer or putting it on your teammates or anyone that's taking damage you can also use it as defensive on yourself now we're going to talk about the other abilities we have that are unique them being a spectral sight which is really nice because if you use it you can see all the active targets around you that you can attack which is all these red targets which i feel is really really cool then we also have a range kick which is called consume magic uh, it's a 20 yard range which is really nice it allows you to kick targets at range then we'll also have a unique the ability called double jump and glide which is really nice i do like it then we also have another ability called Adventure Retreat, which is kind of like a defensive, but it's not really. It's more of just an avoidant attack. Then we also have Fell Rush for those to just jump around the map, you know. And you can leap up in the air and glide and then Fell Rush as well a bit if you want. Another way of getting around is Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis leaps at the target, which is really good. And it's another way to keep yourself on the target. Now, obviously, later on, you can spec with things like Fell Blade if you want a bit more mobility. But honestly, we don't really need it. Now, the next ability we're going to talk about is the actual CC, which is Chaos Snow, which stuns the target for five seconds and does a certain amount of chaos damage, which is on the moment of cooldown. The next one being is a Metamorphosis also stuns the target for three seconds, which is really nice. And lastly, we do have one more stun, but you can't get it right now. But it comes through Fell Eruption and it gives a two second stun when used and it's on a 35 second cooldown. And for our last CC we have in prison. Now what Imprison does is it works on only demons at the moment unfortunately. But at level 110 we will have a thing called the Entainment. Which pretty much allows the user on humanizing beasts. And it's basically like a cyclone. It makes a tag unhealable, no damage and it's undispellable. Which is really really nice. Because next I'm going to talk about our offensive abilities. And the first offensive ability I want to talk about is Demon Spike. Now it does do 13 k damage, but the main thing I want to talk about this ability is the fact that it doesn't cost anything to use, but it does generate Fury. Now what is Fury? Fury is pretty much our rage spending ability, it allows us to use all of our attacks like Blade Dance and Chaos Strike and I Beam. Now pretty much it generates 20 to 30 Fury, so it is a bit random how much Fury you get, but we do have other abilities that allows us to get Fury. Things like our Avenger Retreat, if it hits a target, gives us 40 Fury, and also our Fell Rush, if we hit a target with it, we get 25 Fury. That does come through our talents, which we'll talk about in a moment. But let's just say we're going to be using just this main ability, Demon's Bite, to get our Fury, and once we've got, say, about 80 Fury plus, we want to go to 80 before you even really do anything, because the way it usually works is our abilities cost a lot of Fury. Now, the next one being is Blade Dance. This costs 35 Fury, which can be lowered later on, to our talent first build which gives us 20 percent less fury on that so it brings it down to 15 fury which is really nice now pretty much what blade dance does it's kind of like a cleave ability it aoes all targets in a melee range and hits them for 24k damage and it also gives you 100 percent dodge chance for one second which kind of means it can be used a defensive way as well which is really really nice now this does do a lot of damage if you can get two or three targets stacked up and there's a main fury of spending ability when we're doing single target damage. Now next ability you're going to talk about is I-Beam. Now I-Beam does cost 50 fury, which I know is a lot, but it has a 20 yard range and it blasts all targets in front of you for about 40k damage and it always critical strikes, which is really, really nice. I do like this ability, but the problem with this ability, it can be kicked, so you got to be careful how you use it. You want to ideally use it during a CC or a stun. Our last offensive ability is Troglaive, and what Troglaive is on 10 second cooldown and 30 yard range. It's kind of like a heroic troll, but a lot better in a sense, because it does quite a lot more damage. It does 24k damage, which is a lot, and it also hits two additional targets within 10 yard radius. So obviously if I throw at this guy, it'll hit you two there, 
which is really really nice. I do like it. Now our last offensive ability, which is our main bread on cooldown, which activates Demon Form. Now I want to talk about Demon Form for a sec. Demon Form is kind of like our main bread and butter damage. It's kind of like when we're going for the kill, basically. When we're going to use the kill, we're going for Demon Form. And there's a few ways to get into Demon Form. The first one being is True Demonic. Use your five seconds after I beam to use Demon Form, which is really, really nice. But we can't do that at the moment, not for 110. So our main ability is going to be True Metamorphosis only at the moment. And what it does is when you use the ability, it'll put like a circle around the target, and you press the ability, it'll leap onto the target and do a bit of damage to all targets for eight yards radius, and then also stun all targets for your radius for three seconds, which is really, really nice. And while you're doing form, your Chaos Strike and your Blade Dance will do 50% increased damage, which is really, really, really nice. I do like it. Um, but like I said, you're going to, to use this when you're going for the kill because it's going to do so much more damage. It also creates so much pressure, especially through Blade Dance, if especially you're cleaving quite a lot of targets down. As well as that, it also changed the names, I believe. So as you're going to see, I'm going to use Metamorphosis here now. It leaves on the target, stuns, and then change the names from Blade Dance to Death Sweep and from Chaos Strike to Annihilation. So you just get yourself a lot of damage up here, focus up here, and as you can see when I hit all targets, it's going to do a lot of damage. To all targets were in front of me, which is really, really, really nice. Also, it is worth noting that Metamorphosis lasts for 30 seconds, so it can do quite a lot of pressure if you activate it at the start. But just be careful how you use it because it is a 5 minute cooldown. Okay, so next we'll talk about the stat priority. Now, stat priority is going to be Mastery, Versatility, Critical Strike, and then Final Haste. Now, Mastery is going to be first in this because Mastery increases the case down by 22%, which can also coincide with another talent which you currently can't use right now. For level 110 we will be able to use it there, and based on mastery we get more damage when we use this Chaos Blade. The next one being obviously the movement speed 20% creep, movement speed is important as well. And the reason why that's important is because there's only really two ways to slow down a target as a Demon Hunter. The first one being Venture Retreat. The problem with Venture Retreat is it's more of a defensive ability, you're going to use this to get away from people rather than tube people, but it can slow targets by 70% for 3 seconds. But I guess if you aim it right you could probably use it against two melees leaping towards a healer and slow the melees down allowing you to get to the healer and just do some damage. Now the other slow is going to be true Master of the Glaive and what Master of the Glaive does is use Troll Glaive has two charges now and when I use it it snares all targets hit by 50% for 6 seconds and mention the fact that Troll Glaive does hit 3 targets which is really nice so I guess you can use this really nice against melee cleaves or if you can catch two casters together or something like that allowing you to slow them down. Now the reason that my versatility and critical strike are kind of said are kind of the same is because critical strike can refund on chaos strikes, therefore giving you more damage. But versatility also gives you base more damage in all of your attacks, especially through demon form. So I guess versatility might be slightly stronger, but if you get really nice crits on chaos strike, you guess you could see yourself doing really well, refunding a lot of damage, and therefore giving yourself a lot more damage through demon form. Now the last one being haste is because haste doesn't really do much, the only thing really haste does is it slows down the cooldown on your blade dance which I guess could be in a sense a good thing as well later on giving you more damage but at the end of the day all in all I would say that's a step priority. Okay so next we'll talk about the talents now before we go into the talents I do want to mention that obviously we will go through the full talents at level 110 when I make the guide one week before the expansion starts. Where I'll give you like a rough view of the talents I would use at 110, that being First Blood, Soul Rending, Nemesis, Unleash Power and Chaos Blades, just for an all round heavy damage burst build. But we're going to talk about mainly about the level 100 and level 99 talents because it currently is a pre-patch guide like I said. Because the first talent I would use is Fell Mastery. The reason it's Fell Mastery over year 2 and I'll explain in a moment, is Fell Mastery gives you 50% damage on Fell Rush and grants you 25 Fury which is really nice. Now, I do see this being really good later on, and I'll explain why in a moment when it's conjuncting with your talent I've chosen. Now, Chaos Strike also has additional target 50% damage, and this can be pretty good in cleaves and comps, like when you're doing like a lot of heavy AoE damage. But at the same time, it doesn't generate any fury, and it can leave you really fury dry later on in the fight. Blind Fury doesn't seem too great in PvP because it increases the duration of I-Beam, but I-Beam can be kicked, so pretty much you're leaving yourself open to a definite kick because it's going to last too long and someone's definitely going to kick you or silence you through this so honestly you want to want to do more damage based around your leg dance and your chaos strike rather than your eye beam itself now the next one being is prepared and the reason why I chose prepared over the two is because prepared makes your venture tree 
10 seconds less and also makes it generate fire fury if you hit at least one enemy with the target so this can be used really nicely with fell mastery like i was mentioning a moment ago so you could charge in with fell mastery then prepare back out and then charge back in with fell mastery again this will roughly get you about 90 fury within a few seconds and if you're bursting this could be a really good way to get that out your damage burst pretty much leap into a metamorphosis later on and just do a lot of damage we'll explain that in the brush rotation in a moment now demon blade seems all right but it replaces demon demon's bite which is pretty much your only spam ability so you're going to make your ability only have two buttons and i kind of like the rotation build is dry as it is right now with three buttons so i wouldn't really go with this talent and it's only a 75 percent chance your other attacks will deal shadow damage and generate giant fury and the fury isn't really really that great because demon's bite is guaranteeing you to get the ability of fury and it also makes you do damage anyway so this additional shadow damage doesn't really make too much of a really great maybe in pv it might be all right but right now in pvp not really my bread and butter demon's appetite does seem pretty nice because it makes your chaos strike has a chance to spawn an additional fragment consuming 30 fury soft fury but the problem is that even though it grants 30 fury you gotta go collect these fragments and I don't know man, I'm not really uh, a fan of collecting fragments, I'd rather just use prepared and have your definite fury, you know, when you need it. And it's every 15 seconds as well, like, you know, whereas this is more of just a random chance, like, you know, is it guaranteed this, not guaranteed this, you know. So all in all, I feel prepared is definitely about the choice of the two, and it also gives you, like, more defensive abilities, like, being able to get away from the target, like I said. Now, all in all, I would say that this is probably the best build you can go with for now. Later on, like I said, you want to go for First Blood, then Soul Rending, then Nemesis, Unleash Power, and Chaos Blades. But uh, let's get next into the actual rotation. Okay, so next up we have our rotations. Now remember that these are based on level 100. There is different rotations at level 110, which we'll explain in a later video. And the main reason being is um, this power makes Chaos Nova cost no fury, which allows you to use this more often, as well as First Blood making the reduced cost on Blade Dance, giving you more fury to spend on more abilities. But anyways, let's get into the first basic rotation. And the first basic rotation is going to be basically get yourself up to 100 fury using Demon's Bite. And then once you got that, you want to Blade Dance, then you're going to use Demon's Bite again, and then you use Chaos Strike times two, or even three if you get to the crits with the two Chaos Strikes, which is a possibility. So yeah, pretty much you would fell rush in, get yourself up to 100 fury, then you Blade Dance, use your Demon's Bite, Chaos Strike, Chaos Strike. Uh, I didn't get any crits on them, so I only got two. But if you got three, you would get, you would use all three. Now you pretty much basically just keep using your fury up to 100, and then every time Blade Dance comes off, you want to use that, and then get yourself back up to about 80 or 90 fury, and just keep spamming Chaos Strikes. Go back up to full fury, about 80, one Chaos Strike, and always using your Blade Dance every time it comes off cooldown. The next rotation is going to be a combo, and it's pretty much your normal rotation. You would basically when you're on 80 fury you would use your stun and then use your eye beam and that's pretty much all that combo is it's nothing too difficult you know just get yourself up to uh, 80, 80 fury and you're good to go okay so for combo number two basically you would charge him with your foul rush get yourself up to 100 fury with demon's bite and then you use blade dance then venture retreat then foul rush back in and then chaos strike times three or four so you basically charge in here get yourself up to 100 fury then you will blade dance venture retreat Charge back in, Chaos Strike times 4, and that's pretty much it. You might get lucky and you might get an extra one, it depends how many times you create or not. Usually you get 3 though, you always get 3, you might get 4 though, so if you're really lucky. Next one being is you Fell Rush in, Demon Tides times 1, Venture Retreat, Fell Rush in, Blade Dance, and then Chaos Strike times 2. Now, the reason why you're doing this is this is going to be more based on just fast rotations rather than actually getting to 100 Fury, because you want to be able to just burst out as quick as you can sometimes. So you just Fell Rush in, Demon's Bite, Blade Dance, Venture Tree, Fell Rush back in, Chaos Strike times 2, and you're good to go. Easy rotation, easy life. <laughs> and the last rotation is going to be Fell Rush, Demon's Bite times 1, Venture Tree, Fell Rush, Chaos Nova, Eye Beam, and then Blade Dance. This one's a little bit more complex than your two, obviously. It's like, it's like the second rotation, it's a bit more faster reaction time based than anything else. So you Fell Rush in. Demon's Bite, Venture Tree, Fell Rush In, Stun, Eye Beam, and then Blade Dance straight afterwards. And that's pretty much that rotation. It actually does quite a lot of damage as well. I do like that one as well. Now, for the last one, it's going to be Demon Rush. And this is why I call this one Demon Rush, because it obviously involves Demon Form. This is going to be your main 
damage burst rotation at level 100. So you spell rush in, demons bite times 2, bench or 3, use your Merimorphs, land back on the target, blade dance and then K strike times 3. Now it's going to be pretty awesome when you're going to see this in reaction. So we're going to spell rush in, demons bite times 2, bench or 3, Metamorphosis is back onto the target and use your blade dance and chaos strike times two and as you see a lot of heavy damage there pretty much awesomeness <laughs> and then just continue your normal rotation like you would as if you were basically doing the basic rotation that pretty much brings us to the end of the demon hunter guide hope you guys got a lot of information from that another video was pretty long but i try my best to give you guys all the information i could i'll be making a more detailed guide level 110 for demon hunters one week before the expansion but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did maybe shoot the video a like i really would appreciate it that would let me know you guys enjoy the content and if you have any comments or questions leave them down below and i'll try my best to answer them and if you want to see more content like this just smash that subscribe button for me guys i really really appreciate it but anyways guys as always this is evan i love you all take care and i'll see you guys in the next one.